Hey guys, it's Hector from CarHex. I thought I'd uh, take a moment to talk about acceptable gearbox cores and the different types of cores that we have and uh, what we need to do to make sure that you get your core money back. Um, so first of all, we only accept number 6. See, there's a 6 right here. Or number 7, 6 casting cores. Um, these are the correct cores that have your stock um, 13 16 um, output shaft with the rag joint 13 16 and they're also going to have the correct um, hose fittings for all your 64 through 75 gm cars these are not metric boxes um, these are going to be your this is what's going to bolt on this is what we build um, now real quick from 64 to 68 um to 69 they weren't factory quick ratio boxes one of the fastest ways to be able to tell whether you have an older box or not is by these top cover bolts right here see all these four top cover bolts the non-quick ratio ones are going to have um washers in them this one's dated 294 of 67 so this is going to be a 68 casting box so real quick that's going to have the washers there was no quick ratio cores. There was no quick ratio boxes built before 1970. Some 69s are very rare, but not not usually. Um, notice on the quick ratio core, the quick ratio box that I have ready to go. It has the flat style washer versus the one with the with the with the nut and the washer in there. So that's one thing. Um, that's one thing we we're going to cover that's all that this is the only acceptable cores that we take the six seven six casting now another thing guys is your box cannot be pitted rusted um it can't have any stripped bolts it can't have any broken bolts like this see this bolt right here this is not an acceptable core because that's busted i can't send that to somebody else and have them deal with that i can't have any stripped threads um, it can't be locked up and it can't have water in it. The reason for it not being able to have water in it is when these gearboxes on the inside, picture your engine cylinder wall. As soon as you get rust in there, you're going to have flash rusted on the inside. And what happens with that is when it flash rust on the inside, it creates pitting and then your seals and stuff won't, won't, um, won't seal. Another thing that I want to cover is how you ship your steering box back. Now, this is a box, um, this is a core that I received in a box that I shipped it in. That's perfectly acceptable. If you cut it right, you should be able to just unflip the core and put the old core in there. The only thing I do suggest is putting it in a bag or two. Because once you get all this oil that seeps out, if it seeps out and it starts contaminating the other male... The post office will pull it out of circulation and your box will never get to me. And if it never gets to me, I can't refund your core. Another thing is inside the box, this person didn't put a return ad. He put a return address, but he didn't put a name. I can't see my old label because it was covered up or whatever. There's no name. There's no information. I have no way of processing this core. There's no way for me to process this core. Which, if I can't process it, I don't know who it comes from. We get about anywhere between 4 to 10 cores back a week. And if I don't know who this is from, um, I can't process your core. So, there's no... It, it, it came from me, and I know it's a core because of the newspaper that I have inside. But I don't know who this box belongs to. Another thing is, um, this core here, you can clearly see... That it's a four turn core um i counted first of all i counted the turns already but you see the washer another thing is i can't have any cores with busted housings cracked housings that's a screw holding that older that plate in place that's not an acceptable core in good faith i don't know if that will seal and i cannot send that to somebody else um so i can't accept this as a core so I can't accept it as a core, and I can't, I don't know who it's from. So please, guys, when you guys ship these boxes, put it in a bag or two. Make sure that it's sealed up right. You should be able to use the same newspaper wrapping that we ship our boxes in.
and then um, you should be able to just tape it back up and seal it back up and put a new label on it and ship it out to me and we can do that and get it out of here um, another thing is um, last week I got bad feedback from eBay this is the guy's box that he sent in so if you see um, it's it's a random box I don't even know what it's to um, it is a four mounting bolt hole style box which I've never seen I think this is some kind of aftermarket box um, but it do, it's not a six casting and this one here is a, a three-quarter shaft it's got some kind of AutoZone seal in it. It's got some kind of rebuilder's mark on it. Um, but this box here has uh, metric fittings, which is not something that we're able to reuse or I'm able to resend to somebody. And um, this box is a four-turn box, which, um, if anything, the guy would have been, uh, I would have, if I would have been able to use the guts, because sometimes I am able to use the guts when they're three-turn housings or different housings. Um, when I'm able to use the guts, you're able, I'm able to refund partial, part of the money, not all of it, but part of it. Um, but this box here, as you can see. From the gentleman that gave me bad feedback saying that I try to scam him out of a box um, you can see that it's gonna be a four turn box so there's zero that's one that's two that's three that's four four and a quarter so with the four and a quarter turn box it does not have the quick ratio guts inside of it and it does not have um, it does not have even the correct housing where I could attempt to maybe at least use the housing, which sucks. Now this housing, I'm going to consider it damaged because it's got a screw in it. And I don't know how uh, how or what kind of sealing that's issues that's going to cause in the future. So I can't do it. So real quick, guys, just please, when you ship back the core, make sure it's a number 6 or 7-6 seven, six casting like these guys here. Make sure that it doesn't have any uh, stripped threads, broken threads, uh, broken nuts like that, or anything is damaged in it. Housing can't be cracked. It can't be pitted. can't have water in it. You know what I mean? Um, the reason we have all these strict guidelines is so I don't send out shit cores. If I get shit cores in, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not going to take a loss on it. I don't make that much on these boxes, guys. I try to keep it cost effective for everybody. And for me to give somebody back 120 bucks on a box that I can't use the guts, the housing, or anything on, that's just not how. Uh, that's just not business wise. That's why we have all these um, restrictions or whatnot. You're always welcome to buy the box outright and not return your core and actually keep your core, which in most cases that's what you guys are doing, and that's that's great. You know, I am having a hard time getting cores, but like I said, it's because good cores are hard to find. If you have a good core, awesome. I'd be more than happy to process it. Like I've processed thousands of cores for people. I'm not trying to rip anybody off, but I just can't take cores that have busted housings, broken threads, or that aren't even the correct casting. If you look at my feedback on eBay, the guy's crying that I got, got he says I ripped him off on a core. This is what he sent, guys. This is what he said. Totally unacceptable. I can't use any bit of it. So um, please, guys, send the cores back when you can, when it, they're acceptable cores. Please put them in a bag or two. Please put them back in the box that you shipped them in. And then um, please uh, make sure that it has your name, your phone number in case I need to get a hold of you. And it has your email address so I can look up your eBay transaction. Um, I have been, uh, I did warranty a couple boxes that I sold in 2017 uh, the other day. That's not a problem. As long as I can find your transaction, I will warranty your box for you. Or if your box has our marking on it, I will warranty it. All right. You guys have a blessed day. Um, see, this box has water in it. You can see that. If that didn't flash rust, then, you know, it's not usable as well. So um, please make sure you guys send me good cores if you can. If not, then um, just realize that you won't get your core money back. All right. Thanks, guys.